development of Macintosh Microsoft by Apple has been, been paralleled working on by the, the work of leading software for developers. Over two years now. It's a great machine. It's a, a step forward in terms of, of the way it uses graphics and the speed. And uh, this is a machine that a lot of people are going to be able to afford. That's a very, very useful machine. Uh, I was enthused. Microsoft doesn't work with new, new hardware very often, but uh, we put a, a team of people on it from the beginning, and we're planning that over half of our retail sales next year will come from, from Macintosh software. We at Software Publishing Corporation are going to develop our software for the Macintosh. Um, the software that we're known for is the PFS uh, brand of software. And it's the one that's been very, very popular in the Apple II line. And we think the new technology represented by the Mac is going to be a very, very big opportunity for us. So uh, we certainly are very excited about putting our software on Mac. The reason that Lotus is doing this product and the reason that I'm interested in it personally is m much the same reason that I originally got involved with the Apple II in 1977. It's exciting. It's new. But beyond that, we can really do something in software that's of value to people, to lots and lots of people, that we simply couldn't do before. The technology that's in Macintosh makes it possible, we think, for us to move ahead, uh, move the state of the art ahead in software. And that's what's exciting, and that's why we're in business. Macintosh is designed to be the heart of a flexible, personal productivity system that can expand as your needs change. At the back of Macintosh, you'll find two built-in ports for connecting a printer, a modem, or to Apple Bus, Apple's own local area network, as well as a dedicated port for an external disk drive. The Image Writer printer from Apple is specially designed for Macintosh. By plugging a modem into your Macintosh, you can communicate by telephone with electronic databases and news services. You can also emulate DEC VT100 and IBM 3278 terminals. You can expand the storage capacity of your Macintosh with an external disk drive, just like the one we built in. And if you work with lots of numbers, you'll appreciate the optional numeric keypad. And when you're ready to travel, Macintosh can easily go along. The durable carrying case is strong and waterproof. Your Macintosh, keyboard, mouse, manuals, and software all fit neatly inside. Even fully loaded, the carrying case is light enough to go anywhere you go. The story of Macintosh is a story of high technology. From its design to manufacturing, Apple has used the most advanced equipment and engineering principles available to produce Macintosh. At the Macintosh factory, state-of-the-art computer-aided design, robotics, auto-insertion equipment, and automated guided vehicles drive manufacturing costs down while increasing quality and reliability. The philosophy at Apple is that we have the very best quality equipment and facilities so that we can build the very best quality computers. And that's the whole philosophy here. And that's the reason for this machine. We start right here, and it's impossible for us to put a bad circuit board in a Macintosh computer. As one of the most advanced manufacturing facilities in the country, the Macintosh factory will produce a new Macintosh every 27 seconds. But most importantly, when you put Macintosh in front of you, you'll know that you have Apple's reputation for quality service and support behind you. Macintosh is different, a new kind of computer, one that's powerful but approachable, one that establishes a new standard in the industry. Macintosh is part of Apple's purpose for being in business, to create personal computers that help you get the most out of living, a vision best summed up by Steve Jobs, chairman of Apple Computer. I'm glad you had a chance to see Macintosh. Um... I'm really excited about it myself. I love products. Sony Profiles and Walkman and beautiful Braun appliances and uh, beautiful Mercedes-Benz uh, automobile designs. Macintosh is the neatest product I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I think that combined with Lisa 2, we've got a 32-bit family of products that is going to be able to, to not only increase the productivity in offices and colleges, 
uh, around the world, but is going to be able to make a qualitative difference in the way that we communicate with each other. Uh, and what's so exciting about Macintosh is, while Lisa pioneered this amazing technology, this amazing software technology that makes this possible, with Macintosh, we've been able to take that software technology and pull it down into a price range that's going to be affordable, not just to the corporation, as Lisa is, but to the individual. And we're going to find people buying Macintoshes for their, their own use or for use in a dormitory or for use in a corner of a corporation that might never have gotten a computer before. And coupled with this radical ease of use, which Lisa Technology provides, I think we're going to be able to bring these products to not just hundreds of thousands or a few million people, but tens of millions of people. And that's really what the personal computer revolution is all about. Find out what Macintosh is all about. Ask your authorized Apple salesperson to give you a hands-on introduction to Macintosh. Discover Macintosh and see the difference firsthand. Macintosh, the computer for the rest of us.